Hi everyone! I am Rainiel Matos Briones. Do you want to hear a story? My story is about The Extraordinary Hair of Lola by Rene Villanueva. This month, I celebrate in Filipino Elderly Week. That's why my story is all about Lola, a very extraordinary elderly woman who had a very extraordinary hair. A long time ago, there was this woman who whom I knew by name. Lola was what everyone called her. The very people call her Lola. Even the lowlanders and mountain dwellers called her Lola. She was Lola to everyone. What was extraordinary about Lola was her hair. Yeah, her very long hair. Do you know how long was her hair? They say it measured one kilometer when it was let down. But it wasn't exactly one kilometer because her hair had waves. So even if you laid it out on a long street in a barrio, no one could measure her hair's length. The strength and thickness of her hair were also extraordinary. Her hair had not been cut nor fallen off a single strand ever since childhood. And when the strand grew and grew endlessly, even if they caught in a flood slide, trapped between the bamboo trees or lit by open fire. Lola's hair was always talked about. Her braids were longer than any procession, and her hair strands were more than the votes for anyone who ran in the elections. One day, there was bad news in the town. A series of typhoons would hit the barrio. Everybody prepared for the typhoon. The barrio moved as one. They tightened the neighbor roofs and flattest bamboo poles were placed on a wall as a support to each of them and each family stuck some food. They prepared for the worst. When the clouds were sad with rain, everyone was so scared. That was the first time that they saw thick and black clouds. When the wind started to howl, they became even scarier. Oh my! Oh my! I think my caribals and goats will be blown away! One villager yelled. I'm so scared! All of us are going to be blown away too! Added the other one. Despite of the situation, Lola did not lose hope. While the wind and rain howled, Lola shouted, Tie my hair to every house in a barrio, even to the town, hall, chapel, market, and dog fighting stadium. Hurry up! And it happened. The wind blew some strands of Lola's hair. The typhoon seemed very mad at what Lola had done. This even pleased her for she tied the caribals, pigs, and goats to the strands that were set loose. The villagers were so happy and grateful to Lola for what she did. She sacrificed her hair for the barrio. In the course of six months, 15 typhoons came one after the other, separated only by a few days. Just enough time to retie all the things to Lola's hair. I never met Lola, but I know every legend, poem, and song about her and her extraordinary hair. The moral of the story, despite our elderly age, they are really strong in the face of problems, especially in times of crisis, their wisdom is extraordinary.